Okay, 13 Reasons Why, Season 1, and yes, there will be a Season 2. Um, 13 Reasons Why, see, the 13 episodes were the original story a decade ago. Um, but here's the thing I noticed, and it was obvious, with one exception, and seriously, I'm not being sarcastic or snide, but if you simply took out the fact that this person, Hannah, committed suicide, and instead considered what she did, the, the project, the tapes, as a memoir, this would essentially be a John Hughes movie. Every other point of the story is atypical of every single high school story. And yes, there are a lot of uh, a very uh, a lot of small points which point to the fact that suicide is or isn't solely based on a momentary decision. And if one intends, you can delay suicide, you can... We're not really sure if you can stop it. Because obviously, if someone doesn't try to commit suicide or tries and fails, did they really want it? I mean, there are, I mean, there are some extreme failures where people jump off the Golden Gate Bridge and survive. There are, you know, well, there are lots of failed attempts at suicide where generally they say the people, I mean, I haven't kept track of the full numbers, but they say the people regret attempting it. We don't know about the successful ones. Were they more determined? Uh, I, I, this, these are these are a little beyond what we need to discuss for the, the series, but they're things to think about while you watch it. Um, were the actions that occurred, as you will see them, different than what happened to you? or what you experienced happening in high school. There's, I mean, similar experiences to a lot of things. Um, back in my high school days, which, you know, the, the 80s, the late 70s, early 80s, it was a, a, a little different than now. But it wasn't at all. I mean, technically, and I've watched uh, stories written from the 19th century, the 20th century, the 21st century, all the different decades. And seriously, nothing has really changed in hundreds of years if you go back. Nothing significant about human behavior has changed. Politics, uh, you know, a little bit more freedom, a little less slavery. Um, and yeah, I'm not being snide there either. There's still slavery going on. Um, it's just not as legal as it was uh, since the 1983 when the last nation uh, on earth made it illegal. The last nation that still had slavery made it illegal in 1983. Believe it or not, 1983. But that's that's a whole other issue. We're talking about suicide. We're talking about high school. And we're talking about seeing things that were here in this story that showed, quite frankly, it wasn't this school, per se. And... There was something that made this person more apt to attempt suicide than others. And there, there are a couple weird little pop-ups 
especially towards the end, and I'm not going to go any more than that, but you can expect weird pop-ups in, in a story like this. That may or may not make sense, but may make more sense in Season 2, when they'll be explained. Uh, the acting, well, uh, you'll, you'll recognize virtually everyone in the major cast from other series, other shows. Uh, I, I recognize the faces. I can't place most of them. <laughs> but I did recognize them. They are experienced. They're not just, you know, they're also a little bit older because of the, the content. You don't want 16-year-olds dealing with this. Yeah. Um, because of the type of content, you want people that are over, over 18, 19, 20. Um, they handled the script well. The acting, the expressions, to the writing, it it matched, it it flowed. And and like I said, the with one change, it could have been any other show. Any, seriously, any, it could have been uh, any high school show. Because almost every high school show, including some of the sitcom high school shows, touched on almost every one of the issues that this had. Obviously, they shy away from suicide and most other things because they think it will inspire someone to commit suicide. Pretty much like the shooting, uh school shootings they don't want they don't like to discuss things like that because they think it'll inspire it's it's what we call the helter skelter syndrome which was quite possibly just a really bad excuse but we'll never know of that either if they really were inspired by helter skelter or not but that's that's another issue so yes very very important to watch now the hard part is it's most important to watch if you're between the ages of 12 and 18. and that's a tough choice you know it's not excessively graphic but there are points that you I mean personally me it's 14 plus visually a hundred percent 14 plus but there are 12 year olds that are as advanced as 14 year olds there are 18 year olds that are as devanced as 12 year olds we all know this we know plenty of adults I mean come on You'd never think I'm 52. I act like I'm 12. But that's another story. Anyways, give it a watch and uh, maybe learn something.